Hey guys, Lotus Tiger back again with another video. So in this video, I want to be showing you guys how to play Mario Kart Wii online for free with using Retro Rewind. So this is something that me and my friends have been playing and it's been pretty fun. You can play online servers publicly with other people or you can just make your own lobby and stuff like that and play just like regular Mario Kart. So there's a few things you're going to need for this. You're going to need Retro Rewind, Dolphin, and then you're going to need Wii Remote or some type of controller. I use my Wii Remote with an Uncha because that's the most original way to play and i'll be showing you guys also how to connect your controller without having any issues and then you're going to need your game itself over here to get mario kart i can give you a hint where to get it just go on google and search v-i-m-m-s and then type mario kart wii and you'll find where to get it but make sure you get it as a dot wbfs so download it as a dot wbfs this is very important otherwise it will not work then what you want to do is you want to go on dolphin we're going to go here we're going to select this one so you want to select the latest version on the top and then you want to download it. Then we're going to go into Retro Rewind over here and then we're going to go over here to RWFC. So we're going to select this one and download Retro Rewind this way. So we're going to download this one. Once you got those two downloaded, we're going to open up our file explorer. Then in the downloads over here, you're going to see everything here. So you're going to have your two folders here, but once you extract them, there's no need for these two. Now, when you have the folders extracted, what you want to do is you want to open it into another window like this. And we're going to open up Dolphin. Then we're going to scroll down. And as you can see, we have everything here. So we're going to go into Dolphin. We're going to wait for it to load. We're going to go on Tools. And then we're going to press Perform Online System Update. And then you want to click your region and update it. After that's done, we're going to close Dolphin. And then we're going to go open the dolphin file again so we're going to go into dolphin and we're going to press new we're going to create a text document and name this portable like this and make sure it's a dot txt so as you can see this is text document but this is what it basically is after that we're going to open up dolphin and then you're going to see we get a now user folder you're going to press yes what you want to do here is we're going to go onto tools and then we're going to go into load we system menu so we're going to go and look for it real quick so where did it go? After making the text document portable, you will need to update it again. So that's why it wasn't showing for me. But once this is done updating, it's going to take a second. We can press that. Then we can go on tools. And then now we can load Wii system menu. So after you make the text file, it's going to do it all over again. So that's fine. We're going to load into this real quick. And as you can see, we have it over here. So it's going to take a second. What we're going to do is press A. Then you want to make it in English. You want to keep it on above TV. And then you want to, date doesn't matter, time doesn't matter. You're going to probably go on widescreen. You want to press OK. So keep those settings like that. Then nickname, you can put whatever. So I'm just going to put my channel name, put Lotus. I'm going to put OK here. And press confirm. Then you want to keep it the same. Do not change it to the country and just keep it the same the way it is here. Press OK and press No and press OK. So now that we're over here, what we're going to do next is we are going to go into the Wii channel. We are going to wait for this to turn on. So we're going to press OK. We're going to go into Mail. Press OK here. And then we're just going to make a quick character. So this is fine. We're going to just press Quit. Save Game. And we're just going to give it a nickname. We'll just name it Six. Press Quit. And then you're going to see we got Six right here. So once that's done, what you want to do is just press OK and make sure it's there. And you can see this is six. So we're going to close this now and press yes. Then we're going to close Dolphin. Then we're going to open up the new folder called user. Then we're going to go onto load. Then revolution right here. Then we're going to go into our downloads. And then we're going to open a retro rewind and copy all these files to this. Once that's done, we're going to close this. And then we're going to go back into Dolphin and then open the folder here and drag and drop your game to the root of the SD card. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Dolphin, double click this, 
and then go to Dolphin here and open it this way and press select folder. And then you're gonna see we have Mario Kart Wii here. Another thing then you wanna do is we're gonna go onto graphics. And there's a few things that we are gonna want to do. So over here, we're gonna do start in full screen, but I'm not gonna do this, but you would wanna select start in full screen. Then for enhancements, you wanna make this into 1440p. Anti-aliasing, we're gonna do 4X, and then we're gonna go into 4X for this one. Output, you just wanna keep it on sharp by linear. And then over here, you can see all this other stuff here. This is what you want. Then hacks, we'll leave this alone, and then we're gonna press show FPS. Then we have general here, and that's it for that configuration. Then for your controllers, you just wanna go onto controller. We're gonna press none for this if we're using a Wii controller. So this is how to set up your controller, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up a Wii controller. What you wanna do next is make sure your computer has a Bluetooth built into it. If it doesn't have Bluetooth, this will not work for you. So if it does have Bluetooth, you wanna to go to Wii Remote 1 and go in real Wii Remote. Then you wanna go into continuous scanning. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my phone and I'm gonna show you what to do from there. So here is my Wii remote over here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take out the nunchuck. So let me take this out real quick. And then as you can see, you still wanna be on this page right here. Then you wanna take off the back cover of your controller. And then you wanna to get to the sync button. So we're gonna take it off fully. And then you just wanna hold the sync button down and keep holding it and then let go. Then let it do it on its own. And you're gonna hear it vibrate and then it's gonna to select to one. After that, you wanna just put your nunchuck in if you choose to play that way. And then I'll show you what to do from there on the computer. So now that we're back on the computer, what we're gonna do is open Dolphin now. After controlling our computer, so I accidentally closed it, but we're gonna load Dolphin. And now we're gonna test if everything works. So as you can see, we're gonna click Mario Kart Wii and your controller should automatically connect. And we'll give it a second. And then over here, what we're doing is making a license. So I already created a license but I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. So you wanna load this up and it's gonna, just gonna walk you through it and you just wanna create a license. But once you make your license, we're gonna close this. And then what you wanna do is right click this, start with revolution patches and then for pack, we're gonna go in enabled and my stuff, we're gonna put it to RR. After you do these two, we're gonna go and save as preset and then we're gonna name it RR and then we're gonna press save to wherever you want it. Then we're gonna close this. Once that's done, we just right click click this or double click it and it'll open. And that's basically the main setup. So now you can see we load into this menu and here is my license. So to make a license, you can go here and press okay. And then you can just click this to create a license if you want, but make a license first before getting into retro rewind. Once you're here, you wanna go into retro WFC one player and we're gonna wait. Then we're gonna go on next, next and we're gonna go into permit. And once this is done, I'm gonna show you guys how to add your friends real quick. So to add your friends, it's kind of simple. So when we're over here, you wanna go into friends and then this is your friend code on the bottom. The 0601296299988 is the friend code. So that'll be your friend code and you basically have to type your friend's code in and they have to type your code in and to register you as a friend. Then when you want to play, you go and create a room. And then once it's done, once a room is made, they can automatically join your room by going on find a friend and they can join you that way. Then to play with your friends or random people online, you can go on retro worldwide and you can choose these ones. And as you can see, there's 34 players online right now. If you go on worldwide and retro versus, we can just choose a character. So it's up to you. You get all the characters already unlocked. So you don't need to do anything like that. And this is basically it. So it's gonna search for opponents, but that's basically it for this video. If this video helped you, like and subscribe. And in the future, I'll be showing you guys how to use Netplay to play other Wii games, but this is the best way to play Mario Kart.